And number seven, I have six x minus four equals four times two x plus seven. I need to start by distributing the four on the right side. So I'll leave the left side as it is, six x minus four. And on the right side, I have four times two x, which is eight x, plus four times seven, which is 28. Now I'm trying to solve for x, and I notice that I have an x on the left and on the right. So I need to get all my x's together. So I'm going to get rid of the x over here on the left. I'll subtract 6x, and I have to subtract 6x, obviously, from both sides. On the left side, the 6x and the minus 6x cancel out. So I just have a negative 4. And on the right, I have 8x minus 6x, which is 2x plus 28. Now, in order to isolate x, I need to isolate this term, the term that contains x. So I need to get rid of the 28. So I'll subtract 28. And of course, I have to, have to do the same thing to each side. On the right side, the 28 and the minus 28 go away. And I'm just left with 2x on the right. On the left, I have negative 4 minus 28, which is negative 32. And you should be able to see there that if 2 times x is negative 32, then x is negative 32 divided by 2. So x is negative 16. Number 8 is an example involving some decimal numbers. But the, the principles are the same, whether you're working with integers or fractions or decimals. The principle that you can add the same thing to each side of an equation or subtract the same thing from each side or multiply or divide both sides by the same thing. Whatever you do to one side of an equation, you have to do to, to the other. That's the main idea in manipulating algebraic equations and the main idea in this whole lesson. So right here, in number 8, I want to solve for x. Right now, x is multiplied by 175. So I need to divide by 175. And I do the same thing on both sides. On the left, the 175 on the top and the bottom cancel, leaving me with x. So I'm basically done. I just have to do 0 0.035 divided by 175. And when I do that, I get 0 0.0002. And you could write this in scientific notation. x equals 2 times 10 to the negative fourth. Either of these would be acceptable. Those are mathematically equivalent. Either way is acceptable. If you were told to give your answer in scientific notation, you would need to provide this answer. Not being told that, though, either of those is okay.